Hello everybody. Today we are here to see a lecture on locating and clamping devices. I am Mr. P.P. Vanga, lecturer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Sarada Institute of Technology Polytechnic Edra. Before starting this video, I would like to request you all to subscribe and like my channel. Now, what are the contents of this lecture? We will be seeing what are locating devices, what are what is locating devices, what are different types of locating devices and what are different methods of locating devices. So in the previous lecture as explained by Mr. P.J. Patel sir that why the locating and clamping devices are required that is to restrict the degrees of freedom and also you can see that in different jigs and fixtures that before performing any operation or before machining any workpiece we require to restrict the degrees of freedom of a certain workpiece so that the machining or the machining operation is done properly without any damage to the tool or without any damage to the workpiece. Now what is a locating device? The pins of various designs are made of hardened steel and most of the common locating devices they are used that is the pins are the most common and locating devices they are used. The pins are of different types, they will be seen in the next lecture. The shank of the pin is press fitted or driven into the body of a jig fixture. That means the shank of the pin that is to be used for locating a certain workpiece is to be fitted in the body of the jig or a fixture and the upper part will be used for locating the workpiece. The locating diameter of the pin is made larger than that of the shank. That is. The upper part of the pin that which is actually in contact of the workpiece has a larger diameter than to the part of that which is to be inserted inside the surface of a jig or a fixture. Depending upon the different workpieces, the locating devices are further classified into different types. So locating pin is the first type, second is support locating pins, third is jack pins fourth are V locators and last is the diamond pin locator. So these are the various types of locating devices that will be required for locating a certain workpiece over a drilling jig or a fixture. So one by one we will be seeing first what is a locating pin. When there are finally finished holes or clearly finished holes are available in workpiece this type of locating devices that is locating pins can be used or locating a workpiece on a jig or on a fixture. Now depending upon their types or their shape these locating pins are further classified as cylindrical locators and conical locators. Now what are cylindrical locators? Cylindrical locators are as shown in the figure below that is a work table is there in which the cylindrical pin is fitted as you can clearly see the diameter of the lower part is less as compared to diameter of the upper part. Okay. As you can see clearly in the workpiece that there are previously drilled holes available which will be able to support the workpiece clearly and which will also help not only in locating the workpiece but also clearly supporting the workpiece as well as restricting its degrees of freedom. As you can see here as the diameter of this cylindrical pin or cylindrical pin locator is fixed. So the workpiece which is to be used here will always require a accurately dimensioned hole so that it, it will be properly located upon that cylindrical locating pin. So any changes this type of hole diameter will not be accompanied by that cylindrical pin locators. Now here if there are changes in the dimension of the hole of the workpiece for which the pin is to be used to locate the workpiece then you can use the second type of pin locator that is conical pin locator. As you can see the diameter of the bottom part is greater and diameter of the upper part of that pin locator is smaller. That is why if there are variations in the workpiece hole or variations in the diameter of the hole which is used to locate the workpiece then that can be used to accompany the change in dimension even though there are changes in the hole the workpiece can be properly located but not in case of or you can say cylindrical locators if there are variations in the hole 
then that hole or that workpiece will not be properly located by using cylindrical pin. So sometimes the workpiece will not fit into the cylindrical pin. Here type of conical locators you can see as there is a variations in the diameter given or a conical shape is given for the pin locator which is used to locate the workpiece. So the slanting edge of each and every pin locator can be used for variation in the holes that is to be used to accompany a workpiece. So here these are the main two types. Second type is support locating pins. This type of support locating pins are used mainly as the name itself suggests they are used for supporting the workpiece. So there are two different types again in this that is one is of fixed type one is of adjustable type. So depending upon the distance of the workpiece to be maintained from the work table if that distance does not vary then that is to be used a supporting pin that is to be used of a fixed type and if the distance varies from different workpiece or there is only a batch type of production not a large scale production so adjustable type support locating pins can be used so that the distance between the workpiece and the machining table that can be used easily now here also depending upon the workpiece surface finish the type of support locating pins that is to be used that is to be used a flat surface locating pin can be used when there is you can say a fully machined surface available and a conical or you can simply call a cylindrical headed support locating pin can be used when there is a uh, casting or you can simply say a semi finished material that is available for locating. Coming to the next type of locating device that is jack pin. Here as you can see a locating screw and a jack pin is located inside the machining table or a jig or a fixture and upon that a workpiece is to be rested. Now whenever the distance between the workpiece and the machining table is to be maintained at a certain distance this type of pins can be used. Now here you can see inside the jack pin at the bottom you can clearly see a spring. This pin is allowed to come under pressure or conversely press down when the workpiece is folded or fitted upon that pin. That is whenever you load a workpiece upon that type of pin that pin is completely suppressed down by the spring and then whenever the workpiece is unloaded this unloading causes the spring to again bounce back to its original shape. Now whenever you place that workpiece upon that pin the pin compresses the spring at the bottom. Now here when the pin is compressed with the help of locking screw you can completely lock the pin at a certain height that is you can maintain the distance between the workpiece and the machining table. Next is a V locator for workpieces with semicircular, semicircular dimensions or semicircular surfaces a V shaped locator can be used. This locator mostly used for machining different ends which are non-circular that is circular end is to be folded in the V type portion as shown in the figure below. Next is a diamond pin locator. When you are machining the surfaces or workpieces with two different holes, that is, if the dimension between these two holes and uh, the complete workpiece varies, that time you can use a diamond pin locator. Now, why a diamond pin locator is used? A di diamond pin locator is used when the distance between two holes of a same workpiece varies for different workpieces. That is, do the job is same but there are variations between the distance between the two holes therefore a diamond pin locator is used for machining such kind of objects for example if you are preparing a spanner or you can say if you are preparing a ring spanner at that time you have to locate completely the two holes or the two centers or two edges of that spanner so that you can completely machine the upper surface so whenever there are variations between the two holes at that time you can use a diamond pin locator. So these are the different locating devices. Now coming to the next slide, what are the general methods of locating? So locating can be done by using flat surfaces, locating can be done by used holes, locating can be done by using irregular surfaces and next type is 
nesting locator or cavity locator and at last is profile locators. So one by one we will be seeing what are the different methods. Locating by flat surfaces. Okay. Whenever you have to locate a surface that is by using a conical pin, a cylindrical pin or any other type of locating pins or locating devices. First of all you have to consider which is the most flat surface of that workpiece so that that can be used for pro properly locating that surface or workpiece. So flat surfaces can be used but similarly here during locating principle you have to use the 3T1 principle so that the complete degrees of freedom are arrested and the machining side or the machining surface is left free for machining. Next that is locating by holes. As you can see whenever the work pieces are available with previously drilled holes or previously rimmed holes you can easily locate the work piece by using holes. So whenever there are different holes available in a work piece that is if there are one or more holes or two holes are available you can use diamond pin locators that is if there is a variation between the two holes length or the dimensions of the two holes size then you can use a diamond pin locator. Also if there is a single hole is to be located or the workpiece is to be located by using single hole that is you can see in the right figure that is you can use a outer pin that is inner pin is to be located by using one hole at the left hand side and outer pin is to be located at the right hand side. So this type of locating can be used for wearing or locating by using two holes for a workpiece with two holes and workpiece with one hole. Also, you can see if there is a workpiece with a greater dimensions and only one hole is available for locating, you can insert a locating pin at the one hole and the other hole or the other side of the workpiece is circular or part of a semicircular type, other side can be located by using V type of devices or a V block that can be used for locating the workpiece and then the machining operation can be carried out. Now, most of the students have arised a question that what is done for an irregular surface or what is done to locate an irregular surface. So, most probably whenever there are non-symmetrical or irregular surfaces, external surfaces of that device or you can simply say external surfaces of that workpiece that can be used to locate that workpiece. So, different outer pins such as cylindrical pin or you can say other locating pins can be used across the boundary of that workpiece to locate that irregular surfaces so that the degrees of freedom will be arrested and machining will be done in proper way. Now next nesting locator or cavity locator. This is an another method of locating or methods of locating surfaces. In this it is used to position the workpiece accurate method for profile location no need of supplementary devices but it is difficult to lift out of the cavity. That means whenever there are cavities in a workpiece at that time, this type of cavity is to be used to locate that workpieces. But the cavity is to be used for principle of location, but it may cause difficulties while lifting or you can see uh, pulling the workpiece out of that cavity. Therefore, again these are further classified into ring nest and full nest. First type is ring nest. So here as you can clearly see there is a dowel pin, there is a socket head or a cap screw and the part is completely placed over here. That is the internal part here is a cavity and it consists of a different holes. So that holes can be used to locate this type of pins and then you can completely locate this type of work pieces. Next is full nest. In full nest type whenever you have to locate these devices by using the different surfaces that is you can do that is each and every corner of that workpiece can be supported by using a locating device. Thank you. Thank you Banana.